Okay, in this topic, it is 9.8 composition of two functions advanced. So the one is to find f of g and then give its domain in interval notation. Um, and in a note here that says find the domain before simplifying. Okay, so for this first topic, what we're going to do is we're going to first find f of g and then we'll discuss what the domain is going to look like um, after that. So f of g means f of g of x. So then in this case, um, we have f of x minus 5. And so then we end up with this square root of 3 times x minus 5 plus 30. Okay. Now I just want to make sure of something. So give me one second. And so if I do the same thing for the one here, um, we're going to do f of f of g of x, f of g of x. So f on the outside, g of x on the inside. And then that means, oh, you have two places to plug in the x. So you have 2x plus 1 plus 2. And then you have 2x plus 1 minus 3. Now notice in both of those cases, I have not um, simplified anything. Um, and so then we're going to leave that like that. And then this one too, I haven't simplified anything just yet. So for the top one, um, let me see. You have to consider the domain of the inside function, okay? So you have to consider, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Hmm, I can't seem to find this topic anywhere, but you do have to consider the domain of F G. So the domain of G is actually negative infinity to infinity because there's no fractions or decimals in this whatsoever. So these are all the possible domain values that can go into G. Now, if you remember from the previous topic, that is the possible domain for F of G but there may be values in here that don't work, okay? So what our job is to do is to figure out if there are any of these values that don't work. So once I plug this in, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the domain of this. Now if I simplify that, I end up with 3x minus 15 plus 30, and I get 3x plus 15. And so this is what they're gonna want for F g but for me i know the domain of this is wherever the inside stuff is greater than or equal to zero that's how you find the domain of radicals right so if i do that then i get 3x is greater than or equal to negative 15 or that x is greater than or equal to negative 5 because negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. so of this interval i can actually only use these values which means from negative five and everything greater, so to positive infinity. And because there's a bar, I am going to use a bracket there. So this is the domain of f of g. Okay. 
Now over here, it's a little bit, um, it's a fraction now, and you can go ahead and simplify this. This would be 2x plus 3 over 2x minus 2. So remember, you go with the inside one. The inside one was g. So what is the domain of g? There's no fractions, no, um, no fractions, no radicals, nothing like that. So the domain of that is negative infinity to infinity. So this is the potential domain of f of g, but there may be values that don't work, okay? And so what I gotta do is I gotta look at this now and see if there's any values that won't work. And because this is a fraction, we do have to figure out um, what's gonna make the denominator equal to zero because your denominator can never, ever, ever equal zero. Otherwise, you get undefined, which means you plug something in, but you didn't get anything back out, which is exactly the guys that we're looking for because those are the exact guys that need to be removed from this potential domain. So if I add two over, and then if I divide by two, I get that x cannot equal one. So this would have been my domain for f of g, but I have to remove the value one from this whole interval, which means I get everything to the left of one and everything to the right of one, I just don't have one, the number one included, okay? And so that's going to be the domain of f of g. So use your inside function. Since it said f, f of g, g is the inside function, and so you take that guy's domain first. This is the potential domain of f of g. But then once you plug it in and you work it all out, whatever you have left, find the domain of that, because if there's any values in there that are bad, you can't use those values, okay? So you definitely need to work on that. So you have two examples, one where there's a radical, and then you have another example where there's fractions.